If you have the newest version of Kerbal Space Program, you're probably aware that it has this new annoying feature, and that is when you press play on Steam, wait for it, the game doesn't launch anymore. It launches another launcher, the Private Division launcher, uh, and then you have to press play again. Uh, even though Steam itself is a launcher, so it's kind of bloat and dumb and it's pointless and it's not really that obvious how to disable it. But you can in fact disable this launcher. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So there are two methods I'm going to go through in this video. First thing you need to do is right click Kerbal Space Program, go on Properties. Then you want to go on Local Files and press Browse. This brings up your Kerbal Space Program install directory. From here, you can just simply double click KSP uh, underscore x64. You can pin this to taskbar or your start menu or whatever. If you double click that, I'm not going to do it for this video, but you double click that, that just launches the game because Kerbal Space Program doesn't have DRM or anything like that. So that's one way you can bypass the launcher. But some people, including myself, often like to uh, launch the game through Steam. And it'd be nice if you could maybe bypass the launcher on Steam itself. And you can do that as well, but that's a little bit more complicated. I mean, it's not, but it's like, I'm going to show you how to do it, basically. So go back to your local files and just copy this line here. That's your install directory location. So we'll copy that. And then under launch options, you want to put a quotation mark, paste what you just copied, then type slash KSP um, underscore x64.exe. And then close the uh, parentheses there. Uh, that is the uh, basically the location of that DRM free shortcut I just mentioned for the first method. This alone is not enough. Then you need to type space and then not five percent command percent space again minus pop up window. There you are. So that should now be what your line looks like there. I'm going to paste this and put it in this video's description so you can just cut and paste this. But bear in mind, your install directory is almost certainly going to be different to mine. So you need to make sure that this is correct for your install of Kerbal Space Program. Click local files again to uh, find where it's installed. We can close all this now, press play, and hopefully if this has worked, hey, hey, it looks like the game has just launched. There we are. And that's, uh, that's how you bypass the Private Division launcher in the latest version of Kerbal Space Program. Can't guarantee this is going to work forever. They might put an update that stops this. But uh, for now, this, um, this is how you do it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Like the video as well. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Cool. See you later, maybe. <laughs>